the looks of the cars this year are different, particularly in the nose section. Uh, that's obviously to get around a regulation issue. Uh, so I know Adrian's not super, super happy with how it looks at the front, but uh, you know that's that's the way it is. And uh, generally, his cars are absolutely beautiful, if not the the most beautiful uh, cars on the grid. Uh, but I still think the RB8 looks very, very nice. It's still a, a beautiful car to look at. Uh, we get used to them very quickly. The regulation changes uh, can be a bit sore at the start, but uh, then we get used to them pretty quickly. Uh, it would be fantastic to win Monza, obviously the Italian Grand Prix, very, very uh, passionate, a lot of history there and of course your home race. I think uh, every driver would like to, uh, to have a chance of winning their home Grand Prix and uh, that's the two which uh, would be certainly towards the top of my list and then after that uh, any Grand Prix victory is, uh, is very unique, it doesn't matter where it is. Uh, obviously you know, when, the, when I won the Hungarian Grand Prix a few years ago, uh, you know, it's uh, not like the Australian Grand Prix, but it's still a, a very special place to win at, and um, you've got to uh, grab the wins uh, because they're very, very special feeling. Having six world champions on the grid uh, changes absolutely nothing for me. I uh, will go about my job the same that, uh, that I always do. Uh, they're always the best drivers in Formula One at the front of the grid, anyway. And uh, yeah, whether you have a few arriving, a few coming back, as we have done in the last few years, it hasn't really changed my uh, my approach. So. Uh, yeah, the, uh, it's always great to, to race against the best guys and um, yeah, you have all them behind you then uh, even, even, even better. The races that I look forward to and the cities that I look forward to going the most generally are the ones that really embrace the Grand Prix. I think all the, the drivers and the photographers, mechanics, we're all the same, you know, so Montreal, Melbourne, uh, Monaco, uh, you know, Monza's a very good Grand Prix, the, you know, the races that really embrace us and uh, you know we can you know have a good atmosphere away from the track as well they're the ones that uh, you know we really enjoy going to and competing at as well. My preparation for the 2012 season was uh, in Australia uh, I had some good downtime but then also picked up my training and uh, did some surfing did some mountain biking uh, some qu quite uh, key training towards my job which was uh, enjoyable and uh, something a bit different that, uh, that we've incorporated so enjoy doing that and um, preparation has gone very well testing has gone well so looking forward to it. I think it's always a highlight when the Olympics are on. I think that uh, you know it's it's such a an incredible moment for all those athletes to have uh, the chance to compete compete in the Olympics uh, every fourth year. Obviously, the huge chance to achieve an incredible thing, which is to get a gold medal. And uh, you know, I won't probably get to too much of it. Uh, I will be in the London area when the Olympics are on, which I'm looking forward to. For sure, I'll watch a lot of it on TV. But if I can get to go to an event, then all the better and uh, watch some of the Australians uh, do very well. It'll be, it'll be a great experience. Yeah, F1's returning to America, uh, North America. It's, uh, yeah, it's good to be back. I think that uh, it's such a big market. It's such a, a powerful country and nation when it comes to sport and also uh, commercially for our, for our, for our uh, industry and, and business as well in terms of Formula One. So it's good to be back there. Uh, give them a nice, uh, I suppose, reward after the, the last time while they were there in Indianapolis, which was a bit of a, a shame how the race ended up there. So uh, in terms of not being able to do the Grand Prix for technical issues. So I think it's, we're all looking forward to going back. They always embrace us well and uh, yeah, looking forward to it. If I could stage a race at one circuit and we do every race there, it probably would be Spa. I think uh, I enjoy, enjoy driving there. Uh, you never get sick of driving around Spa. Uh, plus, there's not many groupies that turn up to Spa. The weather's always a bit rough, so uh, you can just concentrate on the racing and there's not, much, uh, not many groupies around. You can just, uh, you know, as I say, get on with it. I always get a buzz out of meeting uh, military people, people that have uh, uh, pushed themselves to the limit uh, for, for military purposes and so for fighting for their country. Uh, you know, some of those uh, people are very, very brave, so I enjoy, uh, you know, meeting them and have the utmost respect for, for what they do. On a sporting note, less serious, obviously, but still serious, if you like, uh, Sir Alex Ferguson, I think uh, what he does at Manchester United in terms of running the club, uh, dealing with uh, the young egos, different cultures, different players, how they go about things and constantly, um, you know, getting the results. Uh, you know, it's, it's, there's not a sport or a a captain of industry, I suppose, that wouldn't uh, have admiration for Sir Alex Ferguson. Downtime on race weekends is generally uh, late in the evening, uh, sometimes in between sessions a little bit, but uh, if we can have uh, a chance to relax a little bit in the evenings, uh, take stock of where the weekend is, obviously your mind nearly, you rarely switches fully off from, uh, from, from the job at hand, but uh, it's good to unwind a bit. So yeah, a little bit of music uh, back in the hotel room, chilling out, watching a bit of TV, uh, just to sort of uh, you know, turn the, turn the engine off upstairs a little bit when you can. 
I'll probably go for a stunt helicopter pilot, actually. I'd like, it was pretty, pretty awesome to be pretty uh, on top of things in a helicopter as a stunt pilot, so uh, something pretty bizarre and as extreme as that would be pretty handy to be good at. I mean, snow skiing, golf, and all the things which you'd all love to be good at, but I can do all of them. Not very well, but I can do all of them, so uh, I've experienced them, but doing something that you really can't do would be a, would be a good buzz.